Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. Welcome to the Class Adder tutorial series. Let's build a toggle button to switch between list view and grid view. Here on this use case, we have four list items. They look great, but maybe I as the user don't want it in list view and I want it in grid view. You can give your users the ability to toggle between a list and a grid. Same content, same elements. We are just changing flex settings and sizes and alignment. It is really nice to build inside Class Adder. What we're going to be doing is setting up a click of our ID grid view, and we're adding the class of grid view to all of these elements. And then when we click our list view, we're then going to remove grid view from all of these elements. It's the exact same thing. We're going to add them all in step one and then remove them all in step two. Let's jump into Designer and see how this is set up. Here I'm on my list view and if I go and start applying an add-on class to each one of these, you'll see it slowly start to change. So look at the add-on, the add-on, the add-on, and the add-on and then the add-on to the body. And now we have our grid in motion. Obviously this does not look good. I would have to go and apply these add-on classes to each one of these, but you can see that with some classes, with some changing, we can take our list view into a grid view. Let's now go and undo all of these so we can go and implement it for real. Okay, great. We're back in list view. This is the original, totally back to normal. Now let's go start adding these classes in class adder. Great. On click of our grid view ID, grid view ID is going to be our trigger. Let's go paste that in there. And when I click it, we are going to set up actions on the first click. We are not setting up on the second click. It's only a first click here. We're going to add a new pair, and we're going to add a new pair for every single one of these. Because when we click this, we're going to add grid view to toggle indicator. We're going to add grid view to grid item info. We're adding grid view to grid item action to all of them. So let's go and create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs. I'll create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great, we are going to apply the same class to all of these, they're all going to be hidden. So I'll go and copy this, we have grid view, and every single one will be grid view. We're doing this class adding to all of them. Oh, and I have a copy issue here, hold on, grid dash, what is going on here? Copy, paste, okay, great. So we have grid view, grid view, grid view, grid view. Excellent, this is the class that's being added to everything. So this is how I would set it up to begin with. Now we're going to go through and copy all of these classes that will act as our target. So on the click of grid view, we're going to target the toggle indicator and we're going to add the class grid view to that target. Let's go through the rest of the list and apply these to the class adder. We have our info, we have our item action, we have our grid item, nice. Our grid item label, excellent. And then one more for the grid body. Nice. Okay, so we have set up this first step. All of these are entered. That is exactly how we would do this. Now let's do the exact opposite and remove all these classes when list view is clicked. So I'm gonna go copy this list view. This is the ID we're working with as a trigger. And I will go and add a new trigger. This is now a different thing that will be clicked that will affect a different set of items. So I'll go and add this list view. 
And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to do this grid view into each one. But now, instead of adding a class, we're going to go and remove the class. So I will remove, 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 and you guessed it, remove. Nice. Okay, we are getting close to setting up this powerhouse functionality. I'll just go copy and paste from this. We have our toggle indicator, which we will remove on the click of list view. We have our grid item info, which we will remove grid view on that click. Let's take our action item. Nice. We're going to take our grid item. Super nice. We have our grid item IMG. Great. We got our label. And then last we have our body. Excellent. Okay. So let's just confirm all of this is correct. We are adding this to each of these on our grid view click. Great, great, great. We're adding, we're adding. Looks great. Now our list view click, we're going to remove those same classes. All good, all good, all good, nice. Okay, this is totally what we need. Now let's go and make sure this works. I'll turn on the comments. I will go copy this JavaScript and I'm going to paste it right in here to make sure that we are doing this correctly. And this should work exactly as we saw it originally in the, the live example. All right, let's go publish. Nice, okay. Let's go and load this. Cool, okay. So we have our list view and our grid view working. That really did not take us too much time at all to set up here inside Class Adder. This is great. And if you wanna understand this code just a little bit, it's pretty simple to understand how it's set up. This is our click. And this is our action list for this click. This is our click. This is our action list for this click. And you can see that here we're adding and here we are removing. So this is exactly how you would set this up. This is a great feature, super custom, super nice, and have fun with this one. Use it in CMS, use it in static. Really let your users customize how they're viewing info on the page. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Go to sweetjs.io. We're here to help. That's effing sweet.